Hey everyone, welcome back to Plan With B. Today I wanted to just jump on here and basically do um, kind of like a fun experiment with you guys. So I love the look of a complete transparent divider or dashboard with something printed on it. So I wanted to try to DIY my own and the way it started off was not good, but I had an idea and I wanna see if it's going to work. So I thought I would just film it here on camera so that you guys at home can try it as well if it works out. So fingers crossed that it does. So basically I was trying to make my inbox on a complete transparent style paper. I use vellum, I have vellum, but vellum is a style of paper and it can rip. So I wanted something sturdier, but not super bulky. So I thought, Maybe if I just ran a sheet of laminate through my laminator and just use that and printed directly on it, that it would work. But this is what I got. It's really blotchy. It's been hours and it's still wet. It's smearing. And even if this did dry, and even if I used it the way that it looks, I just feel like it's gonna chip off and rub against my other papers and it's just gonna get ruined. So then I thought to myself, what is something that I can do to make this complete transparent look but without having something super bulky because I didn't want to like re-laminate or anything and make this super bulky. So, but I also didn't want it to be able to smudge or crack or anything like that. So my idea, and we're gonna see if it works, um, is to take a sheet of laminate like so gonna get this out of the way but instead of printing on the outside of it after it's laminated I'm going to print on the inside of it and then laminate it now it could be tricky because I know you have to wait fully for this ink to dry because I did do a little trial one earlier but I did not wait long enough for it to dry and it ended up smearing like crazy so we are going to test this correctly and see if we can get it to work together so basically what i'm gonna do is cut my sheet of laminate because i'm doing this for a pocket size planner so i don't need a full sheet here i don't want to waste it so i'm gonna just cut half a sheet okay and then i'm going to grab a piece of paper because to run it through the printer i'm gonna need to have it on a full size sheet of paper so that the printer picks up on that and I'm going to take the first layer off. So what we're going to do is print on the inside. So the inside of a laminating pouch has a little bit more grip to it. I know it's still pretty slick, but I don't think it's as slick as the outside of it. So what I'm going to do is just keep this more grippy inside part up. And I'm going to use a little bit of tape and tape it down to the paper. Now I know that mine is going to print right in the center because of the template. It's actually a freebie inbox printable that I made uh, along with a ton of other freebies that you guys can check out my blog with and my freebie program. I'll leave that all linked in the details below. But I am going to go ahead now and put this in my printer. Now depending on how your printer works, I have to put mine face down like this because when it runs through the printer it's gonna curve and come out like this so I'm gonna go ahead and print okay that. guys so I just ran this through my printer there were no issues with printing it it ran through just like it was on regular paper nothing got jammed or anything and you can see here that it's still very wet it is a little bit blotchy looking I would assume that when it does dry it's probably going to dry that way like a little bit more faded in some areas but to me it doesn't look bad it doesn't bother me that much so the trick is letting it dry because like i said i did a little trial with this at first and i thought it was dried all the way and it wasn't and when it ran through the laminator which is hot and squeezes it through there it pressed down any excess wet ink and it just smeared it so um hopefully we can let this fully dry and it will actually work so what i'm gonna do is let this sit here all day let it dry and later I'm gonna come back on here once it's fully dry and we're going to continue the process. All right, so I did let this dry overnight. Yesterday, um, I let it dry for several hours and then I saw that it was still pretty wet that it had like little clumps of ink on there. So I took a tissue and really gently just blotted it to get off that excess ink. And then I let it dry again overnight. This morning I did blot it again and I'm not sure if you guys can see this but there was a little bit more of the ink so I'm just gonna go ahead and really gently do this again. I just want to make sure there's no excess ink so that when I run it through it doesn't smear. It feels pretty dry to the touch. 
I think it might be okay to run through, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do now is take it off of the paper and get the other half of the laminating sheet that we had. Okay, so I have the other sheet here. So we're going to put the grippy sides together so that the slick sides of the laminate are on the outsides. I'm gonna go ahead and, it doesn't have to be perfect um, because I am gonna be cutting this down. I did leave a bunch of excess room for my pocket size insert, but I wanna line it up as good as I can and then press and not touch it. So we're going to run this through the laminator and cross our fingers and hope that it works. What is going on with this thing? So that's never happened. Um, not sure if you guys just saw me fighting with my um, laminator here, but it ate, it ate my paper and I had to pull it back out. I didn't even get to fully laminate it. Somebody's getting a new laminator. Done with you. But on a good note, look guys, it didn't smear. It actually would have worked if this just laminated properly. So that's exciting. So you guys can still do this process. Just make sure you have a good laminator. I'm not sure why my laminator is doing that because I have used this thing constantly, like every day for a long time. So maybe it's just time for a new one. Um, but anyways, ignore all the wrinkles and um, the fight that I put up with this. <laughs> but as you can see, it did not smear, so it would work. So I'm going to try it again after I get a new laminator and I will show you guys on Instagram how it turns out. But it will work. So my idea is good. It'll work. So that's exciting. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys um, kind of enjoyed this video. Sorry that it ended up a mess and I didn't have this beautiful product at the end, but at least you guys know that this process will work. If you guys give it a try, make sure you tag me on Instagram at underscore plan with B underscore so I can see what you guys are doing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.